Okay, welcome back to a little fun video. Today, we will be shooting Alexa. But as you can see, there is a fundamental problem on Alexa in the fact that she has no, I'm just gonna do that, we're gonna get to that later. She has no optic on it. So what we're gonna do, cause I had to borrow that optic for a different project that you guys would have watched already. We have some Alpha ammunitions, 6.5 Creed loaded up with 140 ELDMs as always. In our mag, we've got six rounds in this magazine. Now, generally what I do is I try and shoot out all my brass and then I can reload, anneal everything in the same go and then everything sort of stays in that same cycle. So what I've basically got to do is just come to the range, shoot these six rounds out. What I would normally do, I just come here, burn six rounds into the dirt and pretty much go home. So today I was like, well, we are here, got a camera, got a rifle, it's a beautiful day, it's a little bit cloudy, so we've basically got a massive soft box. If you don't know what that is, it's okay. Um, so, what I've done is I've taken some press stick and I've made open sights. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so what we're gonna do, or try and do, is within six rounds, hit steel, at 340-ish meters from where we're set up now. So we got six rounds, we got no dope essentially cause the sights are, they're completely adjustable by the way. <laughs> you can make them bigger, smaller, change the height, whatever the case may be. Let me show you sort of what I'm gonna see and then we're pretty much just gonna go for it and see if we can hit steel. This is just a super fun little mess around video and uh, I think, I think it could be fun. So I'm gonna jump on the rifle. Here's a pro, a pro tip, pro tip. When you're out at the range by yourself, which I often find myself being, because you're not talking to anyone, you take off your ear pro and then you forget about your ear pro. And then you go lie behind your rifle and you close your bolt and you go cling and then it goes for a week, okay? So what I do is I just take my ear pro and I hang it over my bolt or over the rifle just like that and then you can't close that bolt without your air pro on. Now, it sucks when it happens, it hasn't happened to me in a very long time because of this technique, so hopefully that helps you. Never thought you'd learn anything in a video with plastic sides or wonderkom, as we would say in, in South African, in South Afrikaans. Okay, do you guys, should we implement for all the English people, every episode I teach you one word of Afrikaans. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something we want to do, because that could be a lot of fun for you. Uh, we have spoken about lacquer before. This video is hopefully going to be very lacquer. Um, okay, ear pro on. I'm going to show you what sort of my sight picture is. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, and let, let's do it and see if we can ring steel. Unfortunately, obviously, I can't give you the scope cam footage because, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, let's load her up. Oh, and to add to the difficulty of the situation, there's no real wind here, um, but we will be shooting out of this Swarovski tripod, um, just to make it a little bit trickier, because you know. Okay, if we do a first round hit. <laughs> I am tempted to say I'll shave my head, but that will be a terrible idea. Um, let me pop these guys down over here. Right. Woo! Feeling good. I'm feeling good. Holy smokes. This is a terrible idea, but spotting the head to see where we're actually missing will be really difficult to do. So, let's go. I'm just going to try aim almost for the top. Okay, so um, we hit a little bit high, but that's good. I can work with that. Okay, so we're gonna come down and aim for that. <laughs> Holy shit, it was super close. Uh, wow. Oh, we're so close! Wow, 
One more. No. Oh, one more. Okay, so we basically hit low, low, just to the right. The windies is very difficult to do. I've got this sort of elevation figured out. Whoa. Okay. So we're about here. Ah! Okay. Okay. It was stupid. But it could have been done. Maybe we've got some other rounds here for a completely different rifle. Okay, let me go get those because we're going to make this happen. <laughs> okay, so I've got some what I think are 140 grain VLD hunting bullets from Burger. So obviously, guys, <laughs> our dope is going to be completely off now. Um, but I have a feeling we're going to get this done. Um, it sort of almost feels like I'm doing ELR. Like you shoot enough, you're eventually you're going to hit something. Um, but let's stick, let's, let's, I'm going to change this angle up so you can maybe see what I see. I'm going to try use my zoom lens and see if I can get us there. Perhaps we should have closed, ah, perhaps we should have chosen something that was a little bit closer and this could have been more possible, but I like pushing the envelope, envelope brief. So yeah. Okay. Let's go. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Pause the video right here and then comment down below if we're gonna get this done so I want to see if you guys have faith in me that's a belief that's a belief means please um, in Afr okay I'm gonna zoom you in so you can sort of see what I see right okay I don't want to bump my adjustable sights here Okay, Mac James, as you can see, pretty close. Pretty close. I'm gonna get this done. Okay, so that didn't work out how we planned it because I kind of don't plan on making videos if we're gonna fail at it um, But uh, we did and uh, we got close like as in if it let me put it this way if it was a, a Bigger target we certainly would have hit it if it was closer We definitely would have hit it I could have possibly chosen something a little bit closer might have been the smart move on my part and maybe gone prone with a bipod and actually had a better shot of hitting it so Something that I did notice is every time I'd shoot, as I sort of would lose your cheek position, in order to have the sights line up exactly where they were, you had to have the exact same amount of cheek pressure and everything on the rifle to sort of gauge with the little open sights we DIY'd. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun for me to make it. Sorry that we failed. I suck. And um, make sure you are subscribed down here or go watch a video where we actually succeed over here and uh, if you want to support the channel on patreon you can always click down here thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one um and i will suck less in that one sorry my bad
I really am sorry. I thought we were going to get that done. But we didn't. We suck. 